The opinions and suggestions expressed on the following program are solely those of the participants and not necessarily endorsed by program sponsors or any radio station, media company, or platform broadcasting this program. The following program is a product of Causeway LLC. The information in this broadcast is not intended as investment, tax, or financial advice. Matthew Moore is not a licensed investment advisor and speaks solely from his experience and opinions. All information in this broadcast is for entertainment or educational purposes only. Matthew Moore, Causeway LLC, and the company or platform broadcasting this program is not responsible for the success or failure of any person's investment decisions or purchases. Matthew Moore, Causeway LLC, and the company or platform broadcasting this program makes no and expressly disclaims all representations, warranties, and guarantees with respect to this broadcast and its sponsors. Investing in any market is inherently risky and can be financially dangerous. Invest at your own risk. Coming. Government officials insist we will continue to do it as this story unfolds. Welcome to Cryptocurrency with Matthew J. Moore, the Bitcoin-focused radio show that's waking the masses to the fiat money Ponzi scheme. Money is changing and your freedom is at stake. So stick around and learn how to empower yourself for this new digital age. Now, here's your host, Matthew J. Moore. Welcome, America, and welcome, world. No matter where you are or who you are or what you're doing, you are all very, very welcomed because uh, we made this show for everybody. Whether you're a Bitcoin expert, newbie, or lover, we made this show for you. It's Cryptocurrency with Matthew J. Moore. Yes, it's the same time, same place every week. And uh, if you were thinking, is this one of the only syndicated radio shows dedicated to that topic known as Bitcoin? Uh, yes, absolutely. You're in the right spot. If you're crypto curious, Bitcoin curious, we're here to have a great conversation. And and this show is unique because you're going to learn about concepts that uh, might just kind of blow your mind. I mean, concepts around liberty, history, technology, energy. I mean, the list will continue to go on because Bitcoin is touching the world. It's going to touch so much more, uh, uh, so much more other things that uh, as time goes on, you'll be quite shocked at uh, how things do change. But I want to propose a question to you. Uh, we, we talk a lot about uh, protocols and concepts and the technological aspect of, of blockchain technology and, and, and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But have you ever heard of a term called ZK proofs? That's also known as zero knowledge proofs, in case you were curious. On today's episode, we're going to talk about why this scaling concept might be handy when improving transparency and accountability. Yes, that's right, in government accounting. In addition to this topic, we are also going to be addressing this idea around sustainable energy and blockchain innovation. Do they both go together? Well, stick around, you'll find out. And to help unpack these topics, we have another this is my best. This is my favorite part. Another local Okie who is passionate about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, the space at large. And yes, this show is in the heart of America in Tulsa, Oklahoma, although we are all over the United States and globally, if you're listening online. But uh, it's always such a pleasure to bring in another local Bitcoin lover. Uh, but before we get this conversation on the on the uh, on the on, on the go, I need to give a shout out to my producer Brian Larue, who honestly he couldn't be here today. But I want to let you know if you liked that intro or you like our outros or just the overall production value of this show, please go check him out at BeyondYouProductions.com. He is for hire, so if you got some kind of track or some kind of project, maybe a podcast, a radio show like we're doing, well. You can give him a call, hit him up. He'd love to work with you. And I also need to give a shout out to SoonerMarketingSolutions.com. That is a local company here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who are here to help you with your marketing and advertising needs. Uh, we've used their studio space quite often when we have a large panel of guests. So I would encourage you to go check them out. All right. Without any further uh, delay, I have in studio an Oklahoma entrepreneur who is the founder, uh, a founder of Bit, uh, Bit Global Inc. and a member of Necker Ventures. Um, and he, he's a man, like I was saying earlier, that is passionate about innovation, Bitcoin mining, and the cryptocurrency space at large. His name, that's right, it's BJ Crocker. BJ, welcome to America's Bitcoin focused radio show. Uh, for our listeners in LA, Atlanta, and Seattle who might be unfamiliar, please share with everyone who you are in your own words. Well, thank you for having me. My name is BJ Crocker. And uh, man, I am a on grid, off grid Bitcoin miner. And I'm also affiliated with uh, two other organizations called Necker Ventures and Roundtable 21. Uh, Necker Ventures and Roundtable 21 are mainly technology consultant companies. We help get different projects listed, get them hooked up with market makers, 
uh, funding, so on and so forth. And then on the Bitcoin mining side, man, we're really, really, really focusing on like active grid management, you know, zero time yeah. demand response and all that good stuff. Again, well, Thank you for the intro, and uh, I'm grateful to be here. Yeah, well, you guys, you guys are doing some fun and, and great stuff. I feel like it would be a, a good conversation to bring you on. I mean, we haven't talked about ZK Proofs right. uh, and some of the other things that we're going to talk about today, so I felt like you were an, an appropriate guest to have on, and and it's even better that you're here in person, because sometimes we got to do this over over Zoom, and that uh, sometimes we've got those gremlins in the, uh, <laughs> in the Ethernet yep. that interrupts our conversations, but, um, you know, BJ... Since we are kind of a, a Bitcoin focused radio show, I've got to start with this question. Please, please give us an idea of your Bitcoin origin story. I mean, what was your orange pill moment? How did you stumble into this idea of Bitcoin? Well, man, it's funny. It kind of starts out of tragedy, really. So back in 2017, my mentor, Dustin Tenney, he and I had a beautiful relationship and he was trying to get me involved in crypto at that point in time. At that point in time, I was involved in helicopter operations. I owned a helicopter company, crop dusting company, and, uh, you know, wanted really nothing of it. Well, fast forward a couple of years, pilot smokes a power line with a helicopter, helicopter gets totaled out, and with the way the insurance was going up, I knew that I was like, man, I know that this isn't sustainable, so I started looking to pivot, and uh, I looked, and I reached back out to Dustin. Dustin said, download these apps, got me really involved, and then, you know, here we are today. So <laughs> went from a helicopter crash, like, but then the, you know, the real reason behind it, and I can go back to 2015, man, like when I really became cognizant and aware of what central bankers were doing and what the Fed was doing and the brilliance behind what Satoshi did with, you know, laying out the decentralized concept of Bitcoin. I was like, this is what needs to happen. It right. gives the power back to the people. Right. Absolutely. No, I mean, that, that was kind of my entry into to Bitcoin was monetary policy. I was a, a big fan of Ron Paul back in 2008. And uh, yeah, I know, right? The heavens just opened up. Uh, but as I mentioned his name, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, but I, I actually, I, I, I stumbled onto uh, the, the creature from Jekyll Island, went down the whole, you know, Federal yeah. Reserve story. And, and uh, then I stumbled upon Bitcoin. And so, yeah, that's kind of, kind of crazy how everybody kind of has their own, own little journey. Absolutely. All right. Well, um, share, share with us a little bit about uh, Bit Global and Necker Ventures. All right. So I'll get off on the, the Bit Global. Bit Global, um, we have assimilated a, a team of people from like different, uh, you know, still the same industry, but different parts of the industry. Like we have people that are from the utility side, the generation side, the tech side, the business development side. And we have brought these people together that were all founders. And mainly right now, what we're focusing on is, is off-grid mining. We're taking stranded natural gas wells, flare gas, and we're taking that and we're converting that into electricity. And, you know, another thing that we're trying to do, too, is offset some of the, the costs, like the hardware cost, utilizing carbon tax credits. So that's one of the methods that we're doing. And then when it gets to the on-grid side, we're really focusing on trying to be like a partner, not right. a parasite. So like on the active grid management side, you know what I mean? Like we're, and, and we're fighting a bad name right now because so many people have burned generators right. and, and, and everything like that. So we're trying to turn the tide kind of like Dennis Porter was talking about the last right. time when he was on, you know, we're, we're a partner to the grid. We make the grid more resilient, sure. you know? So like real time demand response. I love it. Well, I mean, what, so, okay, you, you, you've been in the space for a couple of years now. Um, what is your take on the cryptocurrency space at large? I mean, uh, are, how do you see things unfolding? Because to me, I hold the opinion that there's going to be winners and losers. And yes, there's thousands of projects that are, are out there now. And that I think, you know, how many free market blockchains end up making it? Uh, and is, and is what's your take on Bitcoin? Is Bitcoin going to be that the base layer money? And then we use these other blockchains for other purposes. Like, give me your thoughts on that, man. The best way that I can make it make sense is, is that Bitcoin is the king, right? And Bitcoin is like the cement that binds us all together. We know that's going to be the grandpa. We know that it's always going to be around and it has its place. Like, I, I really want to turn the tide, you know, from people talking about proof of work versus proof of stake, man. I, I think that that's a straw man. Like, I think we need to be unified because look at the look at the thing that we're fighting. We're fighting regulators. We're fighting people that are bought off by the establishment that are trying to suppress sure. our, you know, our industry. 
Yeah, no, no. I, 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 a lot of people hold that stance, and I think uh, was it uh, was it Lee from the Texas Blockchain Council? I mean, he I think he takes maybe a, a similar approach. I mean, because they they're up there fighting for just about everybody. I think right? absolutely they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well, let's let's move to this uh, this next question. Um, you seem to be focused on this idea of ZK proofs, which we haven't talked about on the right. show yet. Uh, it's also known as zero knowledge proofs, as ZK proofs is just short for that. Can you give us maybe like a, a thirty thousand foot view understanding of what zero knowledge proofs is? Right. I'm gonna and without trying to get into the weeds too much here, and and I, I know that you're talking about having Matthew Niemerg on, so I'll let him really get off into it. But zk proofs is a cryptographic protocol, you know, and what it does is it, it essentially it proves something that is authentic without revealing any additional info beyond the fact that the statement is true. Right. Right. And so what that brings is, and how we want to really apply it to is, is we want to apply it to government accounting. Right. We want it for transparency. For sure. You know, it has its role. So, okay. Um, the Bitcoin community, uh, there's lots of talks and mm -hmm. I've read some articles that, uh, that there's a move and a push to implement ZK proofs with Bitcoin's blockchain. Right. What, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, uh, is there, a, a use for this on Bitcoin's blockchain? Do you think it's uh, not necessary? Like, what's what's your stance on this? Okay, my stance, and, and, and from what I understand, is you know, as the disclaimer here, from what I understand, ZK proofs on, on like the, the Bitcoin blockchain or even a Lightning Network, all that can be utilized for is for validating and or syncing. It really can't be applied to, you know, something like what we're talking about with the left zero. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just, again, it's another, like apples and oranges comment, like, it has its place, but it doesn't interfere with 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 zk proofs on the left zero side. Okay, and then um, all right. So let's 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 go into this uh, transparency, right. accountability, yes, government accounting, yes. Uh, what what's the idea behind how does how do we how do we create this transparency and accountability accountability with a government accounting mm -hmm. using zk proofs? Again, I will. Uh, that's that's not my expertise, and I, I really can't speak to that. But I just know that it, it 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 can work. You know what I mean? Like we're utilizing the Left Zero blockchain right now. We have 145 active nodes across you know across the world right now, and so essentially you can take zk proofs, yeah. and you can. I'm going to try not to butcher this, but well, you, let me let me ask you this: Are they are they the the Project founders, the project itself, are they approaching governments right now having these conversations? Oh, yeah, I got you in that sense. Yes, yeah, yeah. And that's one of the things that I'm trying to do over here on this side, too, because, you know, Lift Zero is is founded and in, in, in regulated in uh, Switzerland. And they're also, they have offices in, in Krakow, Poland as well. Okay. And then, um, in, and so are they, what, like, what's their overall... Is that kind of like their overall vision for for their for their blockchain? Is is to to help in that specific manner, or is it wider than that? No, no, no. I mean, it, it, it's definitely wider than that. I mean, that's just one of the specific roles of some of their tech and what they can do. But like their overall role, their vision, and what Left Zero really does is so. There's a problem within the blockchain industry. It's called the blockchain trilemma, right? Yeah. You know, a blockchain can't be scalable, secure, private, fast, and you know, transparent all in the same time. Right. Left Zero has solved that. Okay. Yeah, that's a big claim. I mean, a, you yeah. know, it really is. Yeah, it <laughs> we'll is. have to bring him. Uh, what was his name? Matthew Niemer. I'll have to bring him on, and, yep. and you think he can uh, talk about uh, solving the blockchain trilemma? He there? can make you understand it all. I love it. Yep. I love it. That's yep. great. Well, that's. Uh, it's, I think it'll be a fun conversation. Absolutely. Um, okay, so, so somebody who obviously I'm I'm a huge Bitcoiner fan. I'm a, a Bitcoiner at heart. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily consider myself a a maxi per se in the sense that you know. Bitcoin and everything shit coin. Yeah. Um, dang it. Now I've got to edit that out. Oh, well, then it's okay. FCC will get me. Uh <laughs> hey, you know what's funny is, is that it's not been me that's cussing at you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But what's funny is I always tell my guests, I'm like, don't use the cuss words. This is radio. And I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. my I got the clapper here. We've got a light oh. here. Let me turn it back on. Oh, two. Two claps. Dude. Oh, nope. There we, there we yeah, go. Yeah. It's on. Okay. Um, yeah, no. So, okay. Well, we're good. We're good. It was my fault, not your fault. Um, but okay. So somebody who is a, a Bitcoiner, first and foremost, uh, I do own 
other projects in in hopes that they achieve their their mission and their goal and that they you know become something and uh i so but you know i've got to ask this question for a lot of the maxis that listen to this program uh but what is what is the vision oh i guess we kind of talked about the vision for for alpha zero blockchain i'll probably keep that question until i have the founder on yeah. to talk about that there but how how do we have any idea how he plans to achieve decentralization? I mean, because many Bitcoiners will criticize it because it's a the blockchain is proof of stake. A lot of right. Bitcoiners are proof of work only. Right. Um, but uh, but then you know, in addition, the website and this may have changed, but the website says that there's 123 validators, and and the idea is that the more validators there are, the more decentralized it is. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean that can be the perspective of it. You know what I mean? But like, I I, I challenge anybody to. What makes proof of stake not de like not centralized? I mean, not decentralized, you know, because like I operate a node for a left zero, right? Nobody can tell me, you know, where that node is or, or how it's operated. And, you know, there's 145 nodes active on the main net right now. There's mm -hmm. over 400 on the test net. So again, like I, I, I'm not understanding or I don't get like the proof of work versus proof of stake, you know, argument. Like I, I think that it's just a, it's a straw man type situation that, they both can exist because they both have use cases. Sure. No, I think they both have use cases. I think what a lot of the Bitcoiners will probably argue is that proof of stake is is more like the system we have now, whereas, you know, you've got a core group of people who have maybe a majority vote or majority influence. Um, maybe that uh, group of people will be smaller compared to you know, the, the decentralization of, uh, the proof of work mechanism. Right. So, uh, go ahead. And, and again, you know what I mean? I'll, <clears throat> Matthew can explain it a lot better than me, but like, so there is a, a random committee, right. In the consensus right. on the blockchain that randomly selects different nodes to be within, you know, active in the committee. And it's, it's a complete randomized set that no one person can control. Like our collude or something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. Right. Okay. Well, um, yeah, no, I, I, don't mean to necessarily dig too much in the weeds there. Just, just curious there. Um, you know, because I, I, uh, I do think that, uh, as time progresses, I think proof of work is going to be absolutely critical to the concept of fair money as far as some of these being utilized as money. But I do see these block, some of these blockchain projects, uh, utilizing proof of stake for, for different reasons. Um, and, uh, and I don't, you know, I don't know, like I said, I'm gonna have to have that conversation with with the founder of the of the project to to kind of better understand. But um, a lot goes into this, and and I was gonna ask you, we've got probably about a minute before we got to go to break here. But mm -hmm. um, what are some of your go to resources when learning about the space in general? Do you have any people or, or places you go to? You know, well, yeah, well, you know, the one thing that I can always I, I I challenge people to do is not be afraid to reach out to people. Like how I formed a relationship with Matt. I just DM'd him on Twitter and we started sure. a great relationship. One of the things that I encourage anybody getting into this space is, is like, listen, we know in order for this to be mainstream, we really need everybody to be on board with it. So don't be afraid to reach out because we all want to help somebody. We all yeah. want to help everybody understand. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, one of my favorites, I, I follow people on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, I read books. I mean, just being naturally curious. I mean, this, it's just amazing how much you can find on YouTube. But one of the reasons why we do this radio show yep. is because if the algorithm doesn't know that you're interested in this content, Correct. you may not find it. And so by doing, by doing the radio, we got people jumping in their cars and then they hear me say the word Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. And they're like, right. you know what? I've, I've heard of that uh, thing before. I better listen to what this guy's saying and uh, maybe learn a few things. So the way I see it is I'm, I'm kind of casting a, a wide net with the, with the traditional radio show, but we do double as a podcast. So if you missed the show and you're listening on the radio and maybe you missed our conversation earlier, go to mattjmore.com and you can find all of our shows and all of our content. And so that way you can continue to follow us, learn, get better, be prepared for this coming new digital age, because guess what? Things are changing and you don't want to be left behind. It could be the greatest wealth transfer in the world. We'll be right back. What does it mean to be physically, spiritually, and financially free? The right to life, liberty, property, and the pursuit of happiness, these were the ideas that made America. But what happens to these ideas when America's money becomes compromised? What do you do when the very thing that you're working for day after day is fundamentally designed to enslave you? 
Whether it was a conspiracy or not, you won't believe what is about to happen in this country. Arm yourself today with the truth and build your life on the foundations for liberty. Rediscover freedom in the 21st century and grab a copy of my Amazon best-selling book, Foundations for Liberty. For just $11.99, you can support this radio show by finding a copy on Amazon or by going to mattjmore.com. Again, that's mattjmore.com. Don't wait, because freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. Do you have a strategy to obtain Bitcoin on a regular basis? Do you plan to automate your dollar cost averaging? What about getting all or part of your paycheck in Bitcoin? GetHedge.io is revolutionizing how you get paid. Hedge makes it easy to automatically convert your pay into Bitcoin. Whether you're an employer or employee, you can get started in four easy steps. Start getting paid in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. The great part about using Hedge is you can skip the exchange experience altogether and have your Bitcoin sent directly to a wallet you control. Self-custody is key, and Get Hedge is giving you the power. Hedge is here to make it easy to stack those sats month after month. Bitcoin, it's a long-term play, so what are you waiting for? Start living on the Hedge, and don't forget to let them know that you heard about Hedge from Cryptocurrency with Matthew J. Moore. Use my referral link at mattjmore.com or you can go to gethedge.io. Again, that's gethedge.io. Short form video content is taking over social media. And with only seconds to capture someone's attention, our team can help you stand out from the crowd. At Sooner Marketing Solutions, we'll produce and publish engaging TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. If you feel like you're falling to the wayside and missing out on the exposure that you deserve, Click the link in the description to get Sooner results now. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. That's 800-262-4182. Welcome back, America. Yeah, that's right. Ding, ding, ding. It is round two of America's Bitcoin Focus Radio Show. And whether you are that Bitcoin lover, maybe you're obsessed, maybe you're entirely new to this space, or maybe you know everything. Maybe you know more than me, and maybe you should be doing this show. But whatever it is, we've got something for everybody. I want to welcome you guys back to Cryptocurrency with Matthew J. Moore. It's a show that I made for you, specifically for you. And yes, we are one of the only syndicated radio shows dedicated to that beautiful topic of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. A show where you're going to learn about how money works. What does it mean to really be free monetarily, free personally? How does history fit into this picture? And most importantly, how does this technology work? I may not always have all the answers, but that's why I bring on wonderful guests who are, are doing great things and are you know, extremely smart and passionate about what they do. On the last segment, we were talking about this concept called ZK proofs, which is also known as zero knowledge proofs. And we'll probably have to do an entire episode on that eventually. But, um, you know, I, I want to, you know, we were talking about this idea of how this concept can help with scaling and how it can be handy in improving the transparency and accountability for government accounting. Um, however, on this segment, I'd like to dive into a, a kind of a different angle. We're going to be addressing the idea around sustainable energy and blockchain innovation. And to chat about this, we've got another local Oklahoma, also known as an Oki, if you are not from Oklahoma, who is passionate about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency at large. Uh, and like I said, I love it. I love it. I love it when I get to bring fellow Oklahomans into studio to talk about things that are not only going on in their world, but what they're trying to accomplish here in the state of Oklahoma. But before I dive into that, I have to give my quick shout outs to my producer, Brian LaRue, who has helped me make such a solid show so if you like these sounds the the sound effects the music he does it all if you if you want something like that for a podcast maybe you're a musician maybe you want to do your own radio show go reach out to him at beyondyouproductions.com he is for hire he's phenomenal i promise he won't disappoint um also one more shout out to sooner marketing solutions.com they are a wonderful company here in tulsa oklahoma that help you with your marketing and advertising needs uh, they've been so kind to often open up their studio space when we've got a large room or a panel 
of guests for the show. Um, but today in the studio, it's just me and I and my guest. He's an Oklahoma entrepreneur who is the founder, a founder of Bit Global Inc., and he's a member of Necker Ventures. He's a man that is passionate about innovation, Bitcoin mining, and the crypto space at large. His name is BJ Crocker. BJ, welcome back to round two of the radio show. So good to have you back. And since this is radio, there's people tuning in all the time. Go ahead and tell us again, in your own words, what you do. Again, my name's BJ Crocker. I am one of the founders of Big Global Inc. And I'm a member of Necker Ventures and Roundtable 21. Roundtable 21 and Necker Ventures are technology consultant companies. We help line crypto projects up with market makers, funding, exchange listings, so on and so forth. Big Global, we are an on-grid, off-grid Bitcoin mining company, which is a taboo word, Bitcoin <laughs> data center. So that's what I do, and I'm from Oklahoma, and I'm here with the wonderful Matt Moore. Hey, well, I can hear the Oklahoman in your voice, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Do I sound like, I don't I don't know, do I, I don't know if I have kind of a southern draw. Do I have a southern no, draw? No, man, you don't have a southern draw. Uh, you just kind of, I think that's been Kind of middle of the road there. Yeah, yeah. been phased out there. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, I need to probably change that, but all right, well, BJ, let's talk, talk to us about MB4 Energy. Uh, what is that? Give us an introduction to what you're doing here. So MB4 Energy was is actually it's uh, it's Big Global, Big Global Inc. And what we are is we are a off grid. So we take flare gas, right? Flare gas that is just flared into the atmosphere. A lot of it in Oklahoma, by the way. Wait, dude, Oklahoma is a massive energy state, right? right. So this is this is one of the reasons we're trying to make an energy state also a Bitcoin state because wonderful, wonderful assets that are just here and you're venting this off into the atmosphere. Why not take it that's being vented, turn it into electricity and mine an asset with it? For and sure. Absolutely. So that's what we're doing on there. And then we're doing the, uh, the on-grid stuff. And the on-grid stuff, we're trying to do it to where we are bringing something to the grid, man. We're like trying to make it more resilient. We're not just wanting to suck electricity out of the grid. And we're trying to change the perception of what it is that we do and what it is we can do now that we're figuring out with our colleagues is that we're doing active grid management. We're taking it to where if there's certain emergencies or if there's a lot of demand on the grid or something like that, everything's under a lot of load that we can go ahead and shut a lot of our data centers down, our miners down, and we can feed that power back to the grid to make sure, you know, mom and pop have heat if it's a, you know, winter storm or, you know, whatever the, whatever the use case is. And that's specifically unique to the Bitcoin industry because there's not a lot of industries that can flip an on and on switch like that to achieve such a goal. No, absolutely. That's the thing. So we've got, it's this thing that's called smart PDUs. You know what I mean? We can throttle the miners up or down. Right. You know, when you have like massive machine shops and stuff like that, when they had this, you know, like, and that's what I used to do in one of my pastimes is I was a machinist. And you have all these massive lays and four axis, you know, CNC machines. You can't just turn them off. It wipes the memory. So you have to scale them down. You know what I mean? So, but with our industry, we can sub 10 seconds, give it back. And so would you almost classify that as kind of like a de facto battery? I would go I mean, and classify it a little bit better, better than, than a battery. Yeah, man. Because like, look at, look at the studies and you can look at the numbers and look what a battery does. And we are a lot more efficient. Sure. And what does a battery do? A battery, what? Cost yeah. money, right? We right. make money. Yeah. No, no. And yeah. provide the service. You know what I mean? So you get, you've got the best of both worlds. Yeah, I'm not using the, the right verbiage here. I, mean, I guess maybe I'm trying to conceptualize an idea of Bitcoin miners almost increasing that demand and then holding that new demand and then releasing that demand so, when it's needed. Right? Absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, BJ, let's, let's talk about specifically about... Uh, the problem when it comes to renewable energy uh, sources and how proof of work mining like Bitcoin can right. play a role. What are your thoughts on that? Well, man, so the thoughts on that is, is everybody, you know, especially if you're here in Oklahoma, West Texas, Iowa, so on and so forth, you know, you have driven by wind farms on a windy day and you've seen these wind farms and you're like, why are the turbines? They're, they're feathered. They're standing still. Mm -hmm. Well, they're standing still because there's no demand. Right. Oh. There's no demand. Right. And it's just like on the solar side, the sun doesn't shine, you know, for 24 hours a day, you know, so there is, there's, there's, there's load, there's load problems. Right. right? You know, so again, bring in proof of work, Bitcoin miners in, we can suck up the demand when, when it, when it's right. there. Right. Or just like, you know, Keystone Dam, it's down right. the road. Right. 
you know, just when it rains a lot, you, they have to open the bypass gates, right? Yep. They have to open the bas- bypass gates up because there's not a demand to take the load. Well, when, when you have us integrated into the grid, we can take the load and monetize the load. So again, it's the best of both worlds. Monetization of energy. We've said it here before on the show. It's a beautiful thing. Um, all right. Well, what do people need to understand when it comes to to your mission with Bitcoin mining? Why is this mission so important? We've, we, I guess we've touched on what you guys are trying to achieve and what you're doing. But uh, can you talk to us about why that mission is important? Man, there's so many different reasons. And, you know, just getting away from the what we bring uh, to the grid, it's decentralized money. It's right. not centralized by the Fed. It gives the power back to the people where it's supposed to be. You know, we've got these elites that have taken everything and they have hoarded all of our supply and they're right. printing money. They are controlling it and they are running. They are devaluing our currency every day nonstop. With Bitcoin, that can't happen. Sure. So there's the value. That's one of the values. It's a massive value. <laughs> it's a monetary revolution, and it's an energy revolution, and it's a revolution of the grid. Absolutely it is, man. I yeah. mean, like, look, it changes all the cost dynamics. Right. You know, because you, you've got this. You can integrate this into the grid. It, it Again, it's it's monetization of energy, right? So right. you're going to put that money back into the infrastructure of the grid. Like, our grid's falling apart. You know, the money needs to be, you know, they just passed the, the, the what was it, the Inflation Reduction Act or the, yeah. the, you know, the infrastructure. Like, none of that money, is, <laughs> none of that's going to our infrastructure, man. I know. It's nuts, man. It's nuts. Well, uh, okay, let's let's look at it at this from this angle. What What is so special about your business model when it comes to energy and Bitcoin mining? Because there's a lot of people who are, I guess, trying to do this or, or are doing this. What What sets you guys apart? What, what What's your angle here? Well, like the the company that we're partnering from, we're, we're licensing the software. They've done years and years of, of research and development in one of the most regulated uh, energy industries in the world, right? So they wanted to get established there. So we've got we've got that, and without getting, again, into the weeds on it, on some proprietary stuff, like, so our, our business model is special because of what we do on the active grid management side, but even on the off-grid side. And I think, you know, a, a lot of people are doing this, but we're also talking about taking the off-grid side and developing a kit to take the generator to where, again, if you have a, an emergency or something and we need to give power back to the grid, right. we can shut the miners off and then have that generator that's being fueled by natural gas throw energy back into the grid. But that's only going to be like feasible if a bunch of miners right. get on the same page. Well, what's, what's your take on the ability for Bitcoin mining to take place in remote areas where there is no infrastructure to monetize that energy mm-hmm. with a satellite dish and a, you know, generators and all this stuff, you know, yeah. like think about the possibility of almost these pop-up civilizations in these really remote random places. That's kind of a cool idea. Absolutely, man. And it's one of the things actually, I think I, um, I know of an organization right now that is taking a a water well and building a little hydro dam in the middle of Africa. They have no infrastructure, and they have a little mine set up that's running off of a water w- well that they drilled. And, yeah, they built a little turbine that's hooked to a generator, and the generator funds the, the miner. So this little tribe actually has Bitcoin as a currency. Wow. Yeah, I'll, show, I'll send it to you That's later. pretty dope. That's pretty dope, man. Yeah. Well, um, okay, let's talk market opportunity uh, and your competitive advantage in the space. I mean, can you explain what, – what is the market opportunity here? Market opportunity, like in what sense? Just, just in what you guys are doing. I mean, is there uh, – is this something that just really stuck out because not a lot of people are doing it and the, the demand is going to continue to grow? I mean, absolutely. So, you know, there's that. And then too, so we're in the middle of a bear market right yeah, now, right? Are, right, right. A bad bear market, right. So, you know, there, there are a lot of people, man, that have gone uh, way of the dodo bird because they bought the top and they, they right. couldn't survive the market, man. So right now is a really good opportune time to acquire hardware, acquire infrastructure and get right. positioned. So you you are ready for that next market cycle. Flushing out that uh, bad blood. I mean, that's for sure. Absolutely. Um, okay, so what kind of challenges does MB4 Energy face moving forward? And what do you guys do to overcome overcome maybe those potential problems in the space? I mean, is that government related? Is it something else you think? Man, you know, there's there's a couple different things that uh, that we're working on a bit global, man. So like we're, we're, again, like I had mentioned, there's some without revealing the secret sauce too much. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. There's some, there's some special stuff that we're, we're going to get into that we're, it's going to, you know, offset 
the uh, the cost of electricity and so on and so forth. So yeah, there's uh, we got some pretty unique business model stuff going on right now. Okay, all yeah. right, but we're gonna kind of keep that under wraps, yeah. basically. Is what you're saying? Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, how? Okay, so how? What's your personal opinion on government landscape? I mean, and the impact to what you guys are trying to do in your business model? Because it looks like right now, especially with the work that Dennis Porter's doing, it looks like today he just got Montana to sign yep. his uh, right to mine Bitcoin into law. We got Arkansas, yep. and he's working on some other ones. Really proud of the stuff that he's doing. He sent me a link today, and I was like, "Oh, I'm definitely going to reshare that." <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, it seems like you got the state governments. A lot of the state governments are very pro Bitcoin mining. They're trying to create a healthy environment, and then you got the federal government that's just going all over the place uh, negatively, maybe towards the industry. How do you see this playing out, man? You know, it, it just depends, and I think the proper people are invested. And, uh, I think that those are the people that we have that are going to get it, you know, get into power. Like you can really, right. you can look at the government landscape, right? Like Brad Sherman, right? right. Did you see that? What stuff a joke. You, oh, my oh, did you see, what was his comment? Uh, Bitcoin 2023. Oh, tax evaders. Ta- we're tax evaders. Well, this is the conference for tax yeah, evaders. evaders. Yeah. So I will see you tax evaders <laughs> in Miami this month. And yes. we are going to celebrate. He has no idea the, the name <laughs> he just gave us. There's going to be stickers everywhere. You know Oh, it's I mean? going to be awesome. Yeah. Hey, by the way, are you going to be there? Uh, no, I'm not going to be there. We're, okay. We're, we're, we were going to be in the middle of a job at that point. Okay, yes. well, that's a bummer. But a lot of Oklahomans are going down there. We're mm-hmm. going to have fun. We're going to party. In fact, if you're listening to this show and you want to go to Bitcoin 2023 in Miami, go to my website, mattjmore.com. You can find a promo code that's BTC Radio that will give you 10% off your tickets. We are an official media partner for the conference. I would love to see you down there. Just email me if you got questions. You can find my stuff on my website. All right, BJ, let's go into this next question. Before we jump to break, uh, share, let people know, how can they learn about what you're doing? How can they follow you? Is there a way that they can get involved? Yeah, absolutely, man. Again, like I stated earlier, like we want to help people. We know that there's a lot of people out there that have money, but they don't know how to get it into the industry. You know what I mean? So like reach out. You can reach out to me on Twitter. You know, my my Twitter handle is at BJ Crocker one uh, that's the easiest way. And then you can reach, you can reach out to me via email, which is in a helicopters at gmail.com, which is November alpha helicopters at gmail.com. Okay, perfect. And, um, do you, do you, uh, right now with the team that you guys have, I mean, right. how did you guys all get Assem- together? Assembly? Assemble. Yeah. So Brandon Dalman, which is uh, one of my mentors, brilliant dude in the industry. And he has this beautiful talent to bring together the best and assemble the best teams and talent ever. So he reached out to a bunch of us. We had a conference. We all had conversations. And by the end of it, we had this beautiful team, this beautiful business model, and everybody that's involved has a massive resume that's in the industry and has accomplished so, so, so much in the industry. That's that's super cool. Well, uh, you know, it takes a special person with that kind of talent to, to bring people together. Uh, I can't remember the exact term for it. I mean, you got networkers. Uh, you're you're almost like a, a a bull. You go out there and you get you get <laughs> stuff done. I was yeah, gonna right. say a different word, but you get <laughs> stuff done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right, man. Uh, but but yeah, what, what 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 do you consider is your your best strength when it comes to to the space and what you're doing, man? The strength is, is that, you know, on the people side is, is is that, and as you just kind of stated, man, like I I have that, I can get down on that human level with people and understand people and what their, what their intentions are and what they're trying to do. And I can, I can help people accomplish their goal. You know what I mean? Like I can, you you got tenacity. That's for sure. That's it. That's it. That's it. Persistence, man. Persistence, persistence. No, but like, especially on the operation side and business development is where I really, really, really shine. I have, a, I have a lot of beautiful relationships with people all throughout the industry. So, right. you know, making connections, getting stuff done. And then on the operational side as well, like I have massive experience in operations. Well, you were recently down at consensus, right? That yeah. conference. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. What, tell me how was that? I've actually, uh, and this is, I'm going to be confessing here. I've actually, I've, I've been in the space since 2017, never been to consensus. Always been to Bitcoin 2023. What what was your take on consensus? Man, I'll be honest with you. It, uh, it, it was worth it because some of the outside meetings, but the actual conference itself was... Not great? Not, 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 not too good, man. Why? It what, of, why? It was just... Uh, it looked like 
that it was put together in a day. Like they just threw some banners up, threw some chain link up over here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I just, thought I thought like that I'm not going to get here and poo poo them or anything like that. But it just yeah. like you know what I mean? There was there was some there was some some good speakers. You know, there's a lot of good meetings. And I mean, I, I got what I needed to get done there. But I, I just figured for the money that they were charging in a bear market, they could have done a better job. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I will have to probably go check it out uh, next time. Uh, people talk about it all the time. Um, but uh, that's a surprise to me. All right. Well, guys, if you're listening to this show on the radio, I want you to stay put. I want you to do me a favor, though. If you're enjoying this conversation, if you're learning something, if it's if you're getting excited about the future, call up a friend. Tell them to tune in to, to, to learn because, uh, again, this space is literally changing the world. It's already changed the world. Bitcoin has changed the world. And if you're listening to this show on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, or Google Podcasts, no matter what platform you're using be a part of the conversation go ahead do me a favor i want you to leave a comment like share subscribe post do whatever you got to do to get the word out because this conversation is important people need to learn because again things are changing and i want you if, if this if these concepts are new go to my website mattjmore.com i've got a lot of materials there that you can listen to you can watch if you want a consultation a one on one you want somebody to hold your hand as you kind of enter this space as you kind of navigate it because it can be kind of scary i don't give financial advice but i like to teach people how to fish because as you are new to this space which a lot of you who are listening to this program may this you may be entirely green to this and that's that's okay that's why we do this show because I want to help you along the way. Again, that is mattjmore.com. Uh, we got to go to break, but I want you to stay put because we got more great questions, more great content with BJ. Don't go anywhere. The sun, beaches, parties, education, and Bitcoin. This is the recipe for Bitcoin 2023, the largest Bitcoin conference in the world. Ever thought about meeting industry experts? It's the who's who of Bitcoin, and you can't miss it. Join us in Miami, Florida for the annual Bitcoin conference. Use my promo code BTC Radio at checkout. That's BTC Radio. Learn more at MattJMore.com. Okay, I'm talking funny because I'm in the witness protection program. I have too much credit card debt and I don't want people to find me. Okay, I'm just kidding. We're going to talk about credit card debt. Right, those plastic things that we all have in our wallet. Are you in your 50s or 60s and you're still carrying around a mound of credit card debt? Wouldn't it be nice to start banking that money and save a little money for retirement down the road? We help people restructure their credit card debt all the time. We show people how they can get out of credit card debt in months, not years. Listen, you'll be carrying around credit card debt for the rest of your life unless you deal with it right now. We offer a free consultation so you can learn how you can finally wipe out your credit card debt and start saving money. Give us a free call right now. Call Debt Solutions Network now. 800-593-0298. 800-593-0298. That's 800-593-0298. Do you have a strategy to obtain Bitcoin on a regular basis? Do you plan to automate your dollar cost averaging? What about getting all or part of your paycheck in Bitcoin? GetHedge.io is revolutionizing how you get paid. Hedge makes it easy to automatically convert your pay into Bitcoin. Whether you're an employer or employee, you can get started in four easy steps. Start getting paid in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. The great part about using Hedge is you can skip the exchange experience altogether and have your Bitcoin sent directly to a wallet you control. Self-custody is key, and Get Hedge is giving you the power. Hedge is here to make it easy to stack those sats month after month. Bitcoin, it's a long-term play, so what are you waiting for? Start living on the hedge, and don't forget to let them know that you heard about hedge from Cryptocurrency with Matthew J. Moore. Use my referral link at mattjmore.com, or you can go to gethedge.io. Again, that's gethedge.io. Short-form video content is taking over social media, and with only seconds to capture someone's attention, our team can help you stand out from the crowd. At Sooner Marketing Solutions, we'll produce and publish engaging TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. If you feel like you're falling to the wayside and missing out on the exposure that you deserve, click the link in the description to get Sooner results now. Now. 
Welcome back, America. We are back in the saddle, ready for round three of America's Bitcoin-focused radio show. And uh, like I was saying, every segment, whether you are a Bitcoin enthusiast, a newbie, or an expert, we made this show for you. And guess what? If you are a hater, or maybe you don't believe in Bitcoin, maybe you are, uh, I don't know, I don't know, Elizabeth Warren, are you listening to this show? Maybe you're a hater on Bitcoin, okay, and you just think it's going to end the world. Well, I want you to stick around. I'm not saying we'll entirely convince you, but you can... Absolutely. If you want, take the time, type out that carefully typed out email or insult, send it to me. I'll read it. And uh, maybe, maybe we can have a conversation as long as you don't waste my time. Uh, but the truth is this show, Cryptocurrency with Matthew J. Moore, is a show for everybody. And yes, we are one of the only syndicated radio shows dedicated to Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. We're here to have some unique conversations, some different conversations around liberty, history, technology, energy. I mean, it, we we want to take it at a different angle. Maybe some concepts you've never heard listening to mainstream media, or maybe maybe the the algorithm of YouTube or whatever social media that you're using. Maybe maybe it doesn't know that you want to learn about Bitcoin. Maybe you didn't know you wanted to learn about Bitcoin. Well, you're at the right spot. Um, okay, today's show we've spent time on the last few segments talking about this idea of zk proofs, which is also known as zero knowledge proofs. Uh, and why this concept is important for scaling and why it might be handy for improving transparency and accountability in government accounting. We've also addressed the idea around sustainable energy, why that's important for blockchain innovation and Bitcoin mining as a whole. But we're going to wrap things up uh, with our special guest today. Uh, and he is sitting across the table from me. Sometimes we have them coming in remotely. But today in studio, we have Oklahoman. A fellow Oki, he's an entrepreneur who is a founder of Bit Global Inc. and a member of Necker Ventures, a man who is passionate about innovation, Bitcoin mining, and the cryptocurrency space at large. His name is BJ Crocker. BJ, welcome to round three. And because people are tuning in all the time, just one last time, let us know who you are and what you do in your own words. One last time, Mr. Yep. Matthew Moore. My name is BJ Crocker, man, and uh, I'm with three organizations. One of them is Necker Ventures. The other one is Roundtable 21. The other one is Bit Global Inc. Necker Ventures and Roundtable Twenty One are both essentially, mm, tech, yeah, technology consultant companies. We hook people, you know, different projects up with listing exchanges, market makers, funding, so on and so forth. We advise everybody and on the tech side as well. We've got some beautiful, brilliant people within our space and with our organization. Bit Global Inc. is uh, is our mining company. We focus on on grid and off grid, utilizing flare gas and stranded natural gas wells, and turning that wasted gas mm -hmm. into electricity to mint that beautiful, beautiful Bitcoin. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Well, hey, random thought question here. Uh, last name's Crocker. Any yep. related to? Uh, Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. But you know what's funny about that? Actually, that that topic right there. You got the uh, Betty Crocker, right? There you, you got go. uh, Uncle. Is it Uncle Sam's? Uh, Pancake mix or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But then, then you got Quaker oats, right? Yeah. And then you got the uh, yes, yes. Uh, the Indian uh, butter. What was it? Land of Oaks or something? Yeah, or that's it. Something Land like of that. Lakes. Land of Lakes. There you go. That's right. Yeah. You know what I find ironic about all that? What? What? <laughs> I know the woke people are trying to do something really special. Oh, here we go. Yeah, get it. <laughs> But the white man won again. No, oh my because God. The, the Quaker Oats go. guy was what? the only one that yes, he did. Yes, he survived. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't be racist against white I'm, people. I know. That's I know. illegal. Jeez. You can't do that. Golly, I know. It's getting crazy out there. You know what? God, we just... All right. All right. On to Bitcoin. All right, we guys. Uh, we're having we're having too much fun here. Um, okay. Well, let's jump into this. How can people get involved with what you're doing right now? Is there anything specific that you're, you're looking for? Man, you know, we're always looking on the on the mining side, the Bitcoin mining side. We are always looking for capital, right? right. Always looking for capital and, and and partners in that side. And they can get in touch with me via Twitter. You know, my Twitter handle is at BJ Crocker one and my email is N A Helicopters at gmail.com. That's November Alpha Helicopters at gmail.com. And I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty much it on, on, on that side of it. But, but again, you know, if you, if you are wanting to reach out because you, you don't know how to buy Bitcoin, you want to get educated, you know, you, you have questions like on what's the difference between proof of work versus proof of stake or whatever that it is, please reach out to me. I would be happy to help anybody get into the space because this is what this is really about. We, we understand that we only survive and we only succeed when we have numbers and we are unified. So Let's get unified. Well, okay. So Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency space at large, 
kind of revolutionary, kind of innovative, right? Big things happening, yep. trying to upset the system. You know, we're not, well, I, let me put it this way. So as somebody like myself, who is very libertarian minded, who is passionate about freedom, I know you are too. Yes, sir. I, a lot of times people take the idea that you don't try to fix the broken system in the system. You go out of the system and create something way better that just makes the old one obsolete. Right. So that way you're not really fighting a bunch of uh, resistance and entrenchment. Well, you're, right? not, you're not fighting hidden agendas that you don't know. That's true too. Right. Um, but, um, you know, the thing I love about Bitcoin, there's very intelligent people that can see through all the BS that uh, our culture is so wrapped up in right now. Right. What gives you the most hope when it comes to Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space? I love, the most hope that comes to me right now is that the amount of people, the amount of press that that bitcoin's getting and the amount of like everybody it, it's it has become a like it has grown to a certain point it's metastasized to a certain point there is like it's past the event horizon baby like it's not coming back like we are we're we are on we are on and rolling mm -hmm. that's what gives me hope is is that enough people have finally bought off into this and believe it like we do you know what i mean like and i kind of want to get back like on um when Peter was on Joe Rogan, he was talking about that, you know, if you're in love with an ideology, that ideology is bound to fail. You know, that's, that's all, that, that's not true, man. Like, look at the fundamentals. It's not an ideology. What it is, is, is freedom because it takes power away from people that have consolidated right. for generations now. No, it's true. It's yeah. very true. Yep. Um, okay, well, what, you know, let, let people know how they can follow you and your work one more time because yeah. they might just be tuning in. Absolutely, man. So you can you can get in touch with me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is BJ Crocker one which is B-J-C-R-O-C-K-E-R-1. And then you can get in contact with me on uh, my email, which is N-A helicopters, November Alpha helicopters at gmail.com. All right, well... Are there any topics or thoughts that we didn't get to cover that you want to uh, mention? We got a couple minutes before we got to end the show here, but I wanted to give you kind of the the, the stage here to speak your mind. Man, you, you know, I, I I just want to take this time because again, like I have so much gratitude from where I'm at, and you know the 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 path to success isn't linear. You sure. you fall, you get up, you fall, you get up, and I just man, I. I encourage anybody that is just down right now and that are trying to find a way to to really latch on, have some hope, get back up, and just move forward, man. And I, I have to I have to say thank you to you know my mentors, which is you know Dustin Tenney because he got me into this. I, I owe that guy everything. Brandon Dalman and Matthew Niemerg, and then also got to thank my wife, man, Alex. Can't That's you her. know what behind every great man is a great lady. A better, a, a better, better, a better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A better woman, man. She is. Uh, I am blessed. I have the the best woman in the world. There is there is no one better. Well, I am trying to find that better one. So if you know any single ladies, yeah, you know, buddy, hey, guess Matt, what? Matt Mingling, uh. <laughs> if you listen to this show and you want to know what I look like, just go to mattjmore.com. This Sexy. is a, yeah. This is a dating episode of <laughs> cryptocurrency with Matthew J Moore. Uh, we'll be taking callers now. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. This isn't oh, live. Man, this is good. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, if you are listening to this show on the radio, hey, call up a friend. Tell them next week, same time, same place, that they need to tune in and listen to this because uh, we're here to educate. We're here to help spread the good news of Bitcoin. And if you're listening on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Google, Google Podcasts, help us get the message out there by liking, sharing, comment, posting. Uh, maybe you had a problem with what we said today. Maybe you didn't like our jokes. Hey, you can always uh, comment nasty things too. That'll help us in the algorithm as well. Uh, but uh, again, this, this is a, a great opportunity for you to learn every single week. And like I said, go to mattjmore.com. I got tons of resources. You can follow all of my um, uh, past episodes. And uh, I want to encourage you. We will be down at uh, Bitcoin 2023 in Miami. Go to mattjmore.com if you want to attend that conference and maybe even catch up with us. Uh, you can get 10% uh, off of your tickets uh, by go by using the promo code BTC Radio, uh, and I'd love to see you guys down there. Uh, BJ, we got to close out the show. We got a couple of seconds. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for joining you, me. I appreciate yeah. you having me on. What a wonderful uh, time for two Oklahoma <laughs> Bitcoin crypto guys to, to get it down. It's, it's, it's awesome to have a bunch of local support like this. Dude, absolutely. And uh, if uh, again, I, I want you to come back on. I want absolutely. to bring your friends on yep. and have a, a great conversation. I got a whole line for you, brother. All right. Well, we'll make it happen. Again, this was Cryptocurrency with Matthew J. Moore, America's syndicated Bitcoin-focused radio show. We'll see you guys same time, same place. Adios. See you later.